So I was reading somewhere that people with ADHD are perfectionists. Yeah, I'd say that's true for a lot of us, especially if it's something we're interested in. Well, I mean, hey, that's a good thing about having ADHD, right? Mm. What? It's not? No, not really. I don't understand. How is that a bad thing? We sort of have this tendency to set these expectations for ourselves that are unrealistically high and unattainable. Oh. Yeah, so half the time after we set these expectations, we'll think through what it'll take to reach those expectations. But instead, we end up mentally overwhelmed to the point that we lose all motivation and then we struggle to find where to even begin with anything. Well, that sucks. But that's not for everything. I've seen you do a lot of great things. Well, right. I mean, I'm not saying that I haven't done great things. There's plenty of things that I've been able to hyper-focus on and push my way through. I'm just saying that, like, it doesn't change the fact that I still had set my personal expectations way too high. See, I guess I just don't understand what's bad about that, especially if other people are happy with what you're accomplishing. Well, it's bad because I'm not happy with it. I didn't reach my own expectations. So then why do you stop? Why don't you keep chipping away at it? Are you running out of time or mental energy? I mean, sometimes, but look, I could have all the time and mental energy in the world and it's not going to change anything. I become so much of a perfectionist that I never feel that I did as good as I wanted to do. It's like no matter how close I get to that goal, the goal just seems to keep getting higher and further out of reach. It's like you're sabotaging yourself, but it's out of your control. Right. So most of the time when I complete something, even if I do it very well, I don't get a full sense of accomplishment after finishing it. I'm more likely to get a short-lived mild sense of relief that it's done well for other people but then that's followed by disappointment because i'll keep thinking about all the ways i could have made it even better it sounds like imposter syndrome exactly it's a comorbidity of adhd and i haven't figured out how to overcome it well look for what it's worth, even though I can't see these internal obstacles that you have to work around, on the outside, I can see how hard you always try and I think you do an amazing job. You know what? Thank you. Absolutely. I'm proud of you. Honestly, it's the positive reinforcement and affirmations of people like you that really drives people like me to keep pushing forward and to fight to take control of this disorder. You could have torn me down or belittled me right now, but you didn't. Instead, you were kind and you were supportive, and that's the best kind of support you could ever offer to someone with ADHD. That's how we thrive.